Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to have a look at a way of working on contrast. Uh, in other words, the dark, making darks darker and lights lighter is a typical thing, but you can play around with any of the, the tonal contrast range. And uh, we're going to do it using the blend ranges. Um, just to show the, how the blend ranges work very quickly for those who are not familiar. Uh, it's found underneath this icon here, this gear wheel here, or cog wheel. And if we click on that, what we get are two graphs here, but for now we're just going to use the left hand one. And if I drag the this end here down, look what happens. Part of the picture disappears. What's happening is this goes from dark to light and from opaque or all visible to invisible or transparent. So I'm pulling this down, I'm pulling the lights down to make the lights more transparent and gradually letting it move up to darks. I can do the other way around. I can pull this down and now all the darks are invisible and I'm only left with the lights. You know, gradually increasing from darks to lights. So it's a nice smooth thing and I can grab the middle and change how that looks. So I'll just hit reset at the bottom to put that all back. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control J twice to duplicate the layers. I'm going to call the first one here darks and the next one lights. Let's try again. I'll do. So I'm just going to turn this one off for the moment because we're just looking at the darks and so I'll to make the darks darker and multiply. So this is just taking one um, image, so it's a copy of the same image and just multiplying it with itself effectively. So it just makes the darks darker. And with the lights, I can do the opposite effect. And if I turn this one off here and just let that run the lights, turn that on, then if I change that to okay to screen, then that's making the lights lighter. So it's nice to have a combination of those and we do that by using those blend ranges. So for example here if I click on the blend ranges icon here and I say I just wanted this to be applied to the lights but smoothly turning off the blacks I can pull this down. So the lights lighter, that's working, the blacks it's not affecting at all and then smoothly in between. I can do the same with the darks here. And now I will just pull down this side. Let's turn the top layer off so you can see it happening fully. So there we go. So this is multiplied to everything's dark, but if I pull this down, I'm only applying that multiplying more to the darks and not at all to the to the whites. And if I put them both together, one on top of the other, you get a combined effect. So there we've got more contrast in the picture by using the blend ranges. So it says blend options here it means exactly the same thing. But we're not going to use those. So I can delete those because that's adding layers, pixel layers, and your file size will go up quite dramatically. Um, a way to make this a little bit easier and to add more options of what we can do, we can add curves. And I'll just drag this up to the top here. And then do a control J to give us two. I'll call the bottom one darks and I'll call the top one lights and I'll change the dark ones blend mode. Come on. There we go. To multiply. I'm going to change the light ones. And go to screen. And of course, these these are just this, these act in exactly the same way. We've got that same effect. So I turn the light one off. You can see the dark one. There, we've just got the light one. These doing this does a. It acts as if you've duplicated it, but it hasn't done anything. If we bring up the curves layer here. We've got that same combined effect, but now we've got the options of playing with the curves. 
But before we do that, let's do the blend ranges. But we can do that here with that icon. We can also do it down here, exactly the same effect. So we're on the lights. So we'll turn down the blacks. And then for the darks there, we'll turn down the whites. And there we have an overall picture which looks exactly the same as the one we did before. And it's more contrasty. But because we've got curves here, we can start using them. So I can start pulling this up and down to change that profile that's affecting the darks. So, and so it's gradually having a less and less effect as we pull across here. What we can also do here, um, we've got built-in masks here. So I can actually play around here, first of all, by just going to a paintbrush. And if I'm going to paint in black on that light, uh, then I'm going to get rid of that lightning effect. So I'll just put the opacity all the way up. There we go. And come down here, I'll make the brush a bit smaller. So this is painting black onto the mask, but as you can see, when I'm going to start clicking here and start painting, as I just hover over it, it's, you can see the sky is going to come back. So I'm going to paint over here. There we go, that's just brought back the sky. I don't want that lightened anymore, that's just light enough. And it's, so what we're getting here is we're saying, don't do the lightning stuff, do the dark stuff in that sky area. But there's no many, many darks there, so you're not going to get that effect. What I can do as well with that, if I hit Control J, I've now got two layers of lights. And the effect of you are lightening the lights, so I, I have, so there it's going brighter again. But it's because I've duplicated the mask layer, then the sky is left alone. I can do something similar with the darks. If I hit Control J here, I made the darks, you know, double dark effect. If I think, oh, this is a little bit too much, maybe I can paint just black on this again to take out the effect on this new layer. Uh, I can see just by hovering, this is probably going to be a bit exaggerated. So I'm just going to take the opacity here down. That's where is it? There we go. Down to you know, the 40 percent, say. I'm going to come here and paint no, it's all a little bit over here. I'll leave the darks down there. That corner looks a bit extra dark, doesn't it? So I'm just going to give that one click on that. Maybe another click to take that down so it's more evenly from across here. There we go. And maybe a little bit more painting there. There we go to let the lights all the way through. So there we go. By using the blend ranges and tilting this graph down here we can say make uh, this layer apply more to one end than to another. We can play around with how we move this. We can even unclick the linear there and turn this into a curve. So it's giving us a lot of control over what we do. And if we use curves layers here rather than duplicate the layer we can save space and give us the power of curves and a free mask built in as well. So there we go. How to do some of the contrast work and tonal control with the blend ranges helping you. Thanks very much for watching.